when we start talking about um, certain antifungals, we want to look to make sure that, that there is no or minimal systemic absorption. Um, and we want to use medicines that are safe um, for our patients to apply uh, you know, onto the skin. But we also want to make sure that we um, prescribe medicines that are effectively delivered into the skin. So toward the end of this, I'm going to talk about vehicles and I'm going to talk about the viscosity of those vehicles. And I think it's important that we um, focus on not all creams and lotions and potions are the same. And we'll, we'll sort of end with this discussion of vehicle. Um, vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. We talk about vehicles now almost in every talk I give in dermatology. Um, a small change in the formulation can have a large difference in the efficacy of topical treatments. Um, you know, the vehicle is important. It's important. It's important. One of the things I would tell you that I didn't have in this slide deck, if you look at the vehicle efficacy versus the vehicle with drug, that delta may not always be as high as we used to see in some of our medicines because we're not studying a vehicle, we're not studying a drug versus a placebo. It's a placebo that's a vehicle versus a placebo that's just a cream. Um, so companies spend a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort developing vehicles that are very useful and very helpful. Um, they look at pH, viscosity, um, the oil, water, surfactant, stabilizers, droplet size, ionic nature, method, because all of these things influence skin absorption and ultimately skin efficacy. And this paper that was written, the efficacy of topical agents in superficial depend mycoses depends not only on the type of lesion and the actual mechanism of action of the drug, but also on the viscosities.